All right, you may not know this, but there is a trick possibly to ending the pain. The proof is in the pudding, and we have a doctor to back our claims and science to help prove it. The trick? Positivity. Now, before you can refute that, let's bring in the doctor. He's the number one best-selling author and mental performance expert, Dr. Connor Hogan. Thanks for being with us, Doc. Thanks for having me. How are you right now? Doing all right? I'm positively refreshed. I love so it. So it's later. So how does being positive stop pain? Yeah, well, first off, we have to be very careful with disinformation because it's ongoing research, but it's it's positive about the positivity towards pain. Because this study that has been done in the last couple of months, the outcome has come, and it essentially looks at a thing called tachycardiomyopathy. I'm not going to say it again. It's a big term, but that's basically known as broken heart syndrome. A lot of us have said it to others about, you know, breakups, or relationship breakups, or even if there's a death or something like that. But the science behind it really is that when that happens, there can be an irregular or erratic heartbeat, which gives people the possibility of having a stroke. And also that that changes the physiology of the body, the mind, the brain, and the body connection. So it weakens the heart muscles. It's actually proven now. And this study actually comes from 2 million parents in Stockholm in Sweden. So it's a very big study. Wow. That, yeah, that's, that's a really big study. So if positive thoughts can stop pain, does that mean that negative thoughts can be the converse of that? Well, what I would say with this, and as I said, this is the whole kind of uh, caution around the study at the moment because there's progressive research around it, is that when you're going through something, obviously it's just done, right? Something very negative, say a loss or somebody. And by the way, in that study with the 2 million parents, these people, these parents, the 2 million that were studied and researched, they actually had lost a child. What a terrible thing to happen. But they found that twice as much um, uh, problems and, and stress were caused in the parents that had lost um, the children in comparison to the, the positivity that was out there with regard to the other uh, people that were researched on this that hadn't done that. So they could see that the weakening of the muscle around the heart, and so it spread. So it's about having positive people around you, positive lack of stress. There's a thing called eustress. They've also looked at things like cognitive behavioral therapy and given it the thumbs up with this, and they've said that another therapy which looks at Basically, you know, being around good people, good therapists, and having that positive energy. And it's backed up also by previous thing called positive psychology. Let me ask you this, because we all know people that are either inherently positive or just sometimes grumpy. So is that something that's genetic? Can you be genetically more positive than others? Well, every brain is genetically uh, different than the next, although the geography of the brain, you know, the frontal cortex versus the amygdala and things like that, they're generally in the same place. But we have smaller parts of our brain. We have longer areas of our brain, same way as our body. And so, yes, we can have that genetic disposition to be more negative. We know that with regard to depression, certain forms of depression. So we have to be very careful with the people we're around and the therapies that we use. All right, one last thing for me. Would you put this practice of thinking positively into maybe the same category as manifesting, where someone is speaking wellness over themselves and talking themselves into feeling better? Yeah, we have to be very careful about manifesting this uh, perception out there that you just think it and things are just there. We have to take action. That's the answer to that one. Awesome. Dr. Connor, thank you, as always. Love having you on, and thanks for the insight. We certainly appreciate it. For more on this interview, you can head over to allindiana.tv.